Seventh grade is gonna be so amazing. It's gonna be really, really good. It's gonna be like the best year of our lives. Shuji, get off the hill well. I feel like we should make a pact. Let's like do everything together. Yeah, no doubt. Like all our first together, like our first kiss. Hey Anna, did you? No! I was just looking for my disc man. No! Anna um, approached me about being a part of um, Pen15 while I was doing Watchmen. Um, she kind of uh, told me like the episode that she thought would be really great, which is episode nine, Annie Is She Peters, <laughs> Anna Is She Peters. And they kind of pitched the episode to me as, um, you know, best friends who have a sleepover. One comes over and you're like, you start to get jealous of that friend. You start to think that that friend is better than you, that your parents like them better than you. And slowly you have this rivalry with someone that like you love and care about, um, but also what it means to grow up because Maya in the episode gets her period and Anna um, is kind of watching her family separate. And so having both of those things occur while you also have this person that you love, but you find yourself pushing them away. And so... All of that, I really, it resonated with me, not only because like growing up and my parents are also divorced and all that, but I think um, I had a best friend who was just kinder and <laughs> skinnier and she was just like a beautiful, wonderful person. And so I always found myself when she was over kind of um, obsessing if my family or if my parents liked her better than me. Alex broke up with Heather. It's happening. I guess he like loves me or whatever. <laughs> I'm really, 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 really sorry. It's Jill. Anna, Maya, and I went to NYU together. I think they felt like I was right for the episode just because it's really dark and has some really cool, surreal moments like when um, Maya's mom is brushing Anna's hair and suddenly it's dark and just like all that like kind of horror elements. Slowly the episode just came became this thing of like... Um, this cool like thrillery suspenseful horror thing where it's like my best friend is taking over my life it was definitely not um a traditional writer's room it was really fast paced and i think because their budget was so low they were kind of like finding their own way of how they did things and how they wanted to do the show but because of that it felt really like home and like i felt so relaxed and it, it just felt like this is we're back in middle school and I think like you it, it reflects in this season just like how beautiful and like creative it, it was originally Anna and Maya did kind of a pitch to to Hulu about the show so they did a mini movie of kind of what you see in the finale like there's a dance and like they're preparing for the dance and I had seen that like two years ago and so that really helped me too I kind of felt like um, I had been thinking about the show for years because of seeing that mini movie and because being close to, to both of them. And so it wasn't really hard to get into that world for me, but I also think because I lived it and went through it and those were kind of the hardest times of my life, I was so excited to finally get the chance to write about it. They gave me like a story document, so I got to read kind of where the season goes and that was really helpful and the other characters and like, who Maya and Anna are in love with. So that was really helpful as well. Um, and I also think like I have a similar humor to Anna and Maya. So it was nice to just be able to, to slip some of those jokes in. When I heard about um, the Emmy nomination, I was in London um, and it was like 4 a.m. And so I was just freaking out. I thought it was just amazing and cool and so happy. Um, and again, just a testament to how amazing the show is. What if Brendan wants to kiss me tomorrow? Are you guys talking about masturbating? It's just porn, dork. Why do you think she'd lie? She might be going through something that has nothing to do with you. Maya! What's the smell? My friend was Jennifer Kwan Marley. And the reason why we were best friends was because she was Asian and first generation and I'm African and first generation. And everyone thought we were so weird. And so like, just seeing that with Anna and Maya, like 
them being the outcasts or the weird ones. I just really understood that world. And so I was like, let's go. I'm ready to write it. Like, And also to writing in a way for me specifically is like, to kind of call back to those memories and um you know it's kind of therapeutic in a way and so i can look back at that time with jennifer and just like uh, relish and how amazing it was but i think like as when i was in eighth grade or 13 or 14 it was like horrible but now it's like funny when you get your period and you want to masturbate all day but those times you're like what is wrong with me like what is wrong with my body and so like i just think they got all of that right that's why the show is so amazing is because, yeah, you get older and you get wiser and you um, change, but like those situations don't go away. You still have a friend that like you're jealous of or you still like get your fucking period or all of that. We all understand what it's like, like um, when you hear for the first time that your parents are not going to be together. And so um, that emotion, I think, um, was really easy for me to write because I remember my parents sitting me down to say like we're not going to be together anymore and um, something that Anna also talked about is like how when you're a kid or sometimes when something bad happens everything slows down and so that like little key detail was really important for me to include in the script and that cranberry song I remember um, Anna saying that when she saw the first cut of it, she just cried because it was just so beautiful. I remember like my older sister having that CD and I remember there's a song called I Just Shot John Lennon. Do you remember that? And my mom was like, turn this filth off. So I was like, I'm gonna listen to this song again and I'm gonna read the booklet and my mom can't stop me. So yeah, I love the cranberries. A big thing for me in middle school was lip gloss. And the way they pay attention to lip gloss throughout the season is so true. Like that shit was so real. Like having glitter lip gloss, having the best lip gloss, it was huge. And like um, also butterfly clips that, that Maya and Anna wear takes me straight back. I was really, really obsessed with now and then. Um, I just wanted to have like, three best friends in a tree house and all of that. Um, so that was like, when I look at that movie, that was like my eighth grade experience. And then I just remember like the dances being a really big deal. And like, what were we gonna wear? What were we gonna do there? Like, were you gonna get your first kiss? And so like the dance episode, episode 10 is just so good and um, brings back all those memories. You are my actual rainbow gel pen in a sea of blue and black writing utensils. So we'll do it together. Yeah, duh. One, two, three.